Hey guys, did you ever hear of this glitch called depression? I definitely don't have it right now. Like, you guys really think I'm not happy? <laughs> Glitches. Glitches happen all the time in gaming. Pretty much everyone has experienced some sort of glitch when gaming. But when did glitches happen? That's what I'm about to explain. You see, no one really knows what the first ever video game glitch was. Much like... Some speculate the first ever video game glitch was in Space Invaders. In a nutshell, Space Invaders creator Tomohiro Nika, Nishi, Nishi, Nishi Kado made the game on terrible hardware. This potato hardware made the game go at a grueling pace, but he soon found out that when he killed the aliens, the game sped up its pace. This revolutionized gaming as a whole, introducing game design that would ramp up its difficulty as the game progressed. This did not. Zero Man 64 had some horrendous glitches, kind of like my depression. These glitches plus clunky controls made the game nightmare feel to play. But there's an even worse game than Superman 64, surprisingly. Meet E.T. Oh god, do I really have to explain this to all you? This game is dubbed to be the worst video game of all time, and for good reason. This game made no sense, the game design was bad, and even had game breaking glitches. Imagine you were a kid and you want to play slash beat this game, but whoops! You fell into a hole! Yeah, apparently Atari didn't give a shard about this game and just let you fall into a hole with no escape. Moving on. I categorize glitches into three categories. Funny glitches, game breaking glitches, and what the f glitches. Now obviously Superman 64 and E.T. had terrible glitches, but there were some glitches in some games that were hilarious to laugh at. Kind of like my sister laughing at me whenever I said pretzels instead of pretzels for a stupidly long time. That still happens to me. Meet funny glitches. Now these glitches weren't game breaking. They were more so just funny visual or physical glitches that just made the game so much funny. Just take a look at this moon jump glitch in Breath of the Wild. Just take a look at this. Gold. And then there's just Link with a floating head. You better laugh now. Now, one of the funniest glitches I've ever encountered ever was Mirror's Edge Catalyst out of the bounce glitch. Essentially, this glitch let you go into some somewhat playable areas outside the map. Like legit, you could just float out of the map. This led you to explore the City of Glass, wow, great name, and let you see NPCs you couldn't see up close. The funny thing was is that when you flew down to see their faces, they were all the same character and were super low poly. You better laugh now! Now, glitches may seem like they're a detriment to gaming as they ruin the experience for consumers trying to enjoy their game. And while that may be true, come on, you're Tell me you wouldn't laugh at this. Glitch hunters like myself find glitches all the time in games, and we actually help the game become better. Like, if Activision didn't know the stim glitch existed in Warzone, the game would be dead, like come on. If developers never updated their game to fix glitches and bugs from player playthroughs, pretty much every game would be a mix of Cyberpunk, I mean bug, and Superman 64. Now, most of these glitches are mostly found on accident, like you really think someone found backwards long jumps on purpose in Super Mario 64? Meet Dante Ivan Ruiz. The man who accidentally found the most used glitch in Mario 64. In an interview with Ethan White, he basically explained that he did the backwards long jump on stairs to make him laugh because Mario will go, woo 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 woo. Because I, I, I was just a kid and I, I think that was funny that Mario went woo woo. So. Yeah, that's it. But there's one thing that people need to fix. One thing. My depression!